Oh, let me do a clap. Oh, hey, oh, hey, ladies and gentlefish, Dynamite Gizmo Podcast episode 54. I'm just busting up some weed, you know how I do. Gotta get the show started off right. Don't give a fuck tonight. I have on my card here one thing to talk about, and it's it's very simple, and I'll, I'll cover it real quick. So again, another freestyle up in this bitch. That's what we do. That's how we do. Okay, let me just get this, this marriage of Wani's. Oh, if you could just smell this right now, you'd be in heaven. You die and go to heaven. It smells delicious. When I was a child and I smelt weed, I hated the smell. Now I don't know if that was because it was shit weed that I was smelling other people smell, smoke, or uh, if I just wasn't accustomed to that sweet, sweet smell of sweet marijuana. I just love it. I can't get enough of that smell. Ugh. The dirt, dirty bowls don't smell good, though. Mmm. Fresh marijuanis. It's beautiful. If you don't like this smell, you need to get a life, boy. <laughs> just kidding. It's, I think, I'm pretty sure it's a smell that... It's an acquired smell. Just like an acquired taste. It's an acquired smell. Okay, where's me lighter? My arm is killing me right here. Let's do it. Let's do a quick zoom. Slows in. I was making some uh, boiling some potatoes, and when I was draining the water, the boiling water splashed me in the arm. Can you see that red dot? Yeah, right where the. Ow, that hurts to touch it. Yep. Yeah. It's stinging right now. It happened. First, would you shut up, Oliver? Can you shut it, Oliver? He loves to bark. You know who it is. You know who's out there. Olive! Go lay down. Oliver? Where you at? Olive! Stop playing. Come here. Ah, here's your podcast appearance. Oh, you're wet. Were you licking yourself again? Like a pussy cat? There's my lighter. Let's hit it. Olive knows what's happening. He's like, I gotta get out of here. I do not. He does not like marijuana. Not even a little bit. Ow, my arms. Stings and waves, like pulsating. Should I get it checked? Maybe. Am I going to? No. My stem is toe clogged right now. I can barely suck. <coughs> oh. I just clean his bad boy. And I can barely get a suction on her. Ugh. It's hard when the, when, the, when the stem's clogged. So why don't we just have a dab then? That's what my grandma used to always say. Can't fix her once, you can't fix her twice, can't fix her three times. Well, have a dab. 
No, my Grammy didn't say that. It'd be cool if she did, though. But nothing like having a grandmama who dabs baba. In the future. In the future, there will be more and more dabbing Grammys. Just like how there's Grammys who like to drink alcohol. Back in the day, when alcohol was illegal, and then it became legal, it probably was weird to see old people drinking alcohol. Because it was like a young, a young person's game. Because it was always illegal. But then it became legal, and then, you know, the young people are buying their booze and whatnot, and then see an old person drinking alcohol it was like what just like today if you see an old per well actually no it's not so much today because marijuana has been a long been around for such a long time back in the 70s there was old hippies who were smoking it so what am i talking about well, i don't even know i was trying to make some sort of point but it's not happening try to make a point and then you realize you're wrong and then that's no fun I'm base. I'm trying with the, with these podcasts. I'm trying to keep up with H3. That's all I care about right now. Keeping up with H3. I was keeping up with Carson, but he uh, he took a he stopped it. I don't know if they're gonna bring it back. Hopefully they will. But I stopped watching Carson's podcast before the first season was over. And I'm not sure why. Because it's a good podcast. Maybe I'll watch it. Maybe I'll watch the rest of the episodes. Because it was more than just a podcast. It was like a... It was like a cool TV show as well. Cheers. Shane Dawson's supposed to appear on H3 this week. I, I watched the Rhett and Link one. That was good. I like that. They're all good. They're always, they're always good podcasts. I've seen everyone. But the only one I haven't seen, I don't think, is the very first one. With Justin Roiland. Because at the time, when that came out, I, w I didn't watch R Rick or Morty, or I didn't even really know or care who Justin Roiland was. But now that I, I know who he is and I actually am a fan of Rick and Morty, I would like to go back and watch that first episode of the H3 podcast. But at the same time, I don't really want to because the format has changed so much since then. Just like this show. It's hard to go back to its roots and be like, Oh, they forgot the... He didn't talk about the paranormal stuff because it was the first episode and this and that. And it's... You go back to all the informalities. And you don't want to see that. You want to see what you're, uh, what they've built and accomplished. And uh, You know what I'm saying? Just a bunch of blue blobs, that's all I'm saying. Wow, my phone again. It's so wonderful to have a phone. And that's why it's nice to have something to look at and these cards in case if you run into things to say because it's awkward silence. It's not even 10 minutes yet. It's almost 10 minutes. But not quite, my dude. Oh, well, well let's, just, let's just... I haven't talked about the one thing on here yet, so let's talk about it. Uh, if if you have been watching the podcast episodes, or if you have not been, um, I am building my brand, the Dynamite Gizmo brand, and the way I'm doing that is through this podcast, through music, 
I'm producing an album. Um, also writing uh, a well a book, which I've finished the first draft, and just general scripts, either TV scripts or movie scripts. And I just finished my first movie script uh, yesterday. The rough draft, of course. So I've been going through it and fixing, fixing what I don't like. So this is it right here. My fucking first ever movie script. Now I would have had to wrote, write this, write a script if I would have stayed in Vancouver Film School. But I didn't. So I fucking suck my big old cock, motherfucker. And it's called, well the title I don't want to say. Because I'm changing the title. And I don't even want to say the plot. Or anything. Because, like I've said in the past, you don't. I don't know. Because I'm still, I'm still build. I'm still in the process of building my brand, my company. So it's not like if I were to just say what the script and book is about on camera, and then somehow it never got out to be published or created. I would look like a fool because I got all these ideas. Because there's nothing worse than someone who has these ideas and they spit them out at you all the time, but they never ever move forward on the ideas. You know what I mean? They love to talk about ideas, but they don't ever pursue their ideas. So I don't want to talk about any of my ideas until they're actually uh, until the ideas have become what. The idea is, you know, until it becomes, <laughs> until it is. I don't want to talk about the idea until the idea is a reality. That's what I should. That's what I should have said. Um, because there's no point. I mean, sure, I might have good ideas or whatever, but either way, no one's gonna want to hear it. Nobody is going to want to hear what you have to say until you can show yourself as being worthy. You could talk all fucking day about all kinds of ideas you have. Maybe you have hundreds of ideas. But until you can actually prove yourself to be worthy and get it done, people don't care. So there's no point in talking. Cause I'll sit here and explain the idea and people will probably fast forward or or skip through or not even listen or, or half listen <clears throat> and I think that's the way it should always be but it's hard to it's hard to do that because you're so excited about the idea I've I've really trained myself throughout my whole life to be this way and now if I were to actually tell the idea to people it feels horrible. Like, I actually feel horrible doing it. I don't like doing that. I don't like sharing ideas. Once the product is finished and there and accessible and ready to go, that's when I want to reveal it. So you can experience it that way. You know, that's the best way to experience it. You show them the finished product and they're just like, whoa, what are you? Back and make it rowdy. Hell yes. You know? Because they would never expect that from you. You know? I'm a nobody. But once I'm proven to be someone, you're good to go. And then, once you are a proven, reliable person, and you have that massive respect... Now you can start sharing your ideas with people and people will actually listen because they know who you are and what you have done and can do. So you can share all those hundreds of ideas now and everyone will listen and people will be like, hell yeah, I like it, I like it, I like it. Or not. Whatever. But uh, positive reinforcement is not always what you want either if someone if you're if you're telling your ideas to someone 
like let's say your best friend and they're constantly saying oh this is great you're doing good you know that's not a bad thing necessarily you'll never know if they're lying or not which they probably are most of the time because your best friend's not going to say um well in certain cases they're not going to say oh this you I don't like this because they don't want to hurt your feelings. But it it's very important to convey what you don't like about someone else's work. Because they need to that's they need to learn. And that's the best way. And you have to improve. It's constructive criticism if what people always say. So, you know, it's much better to have someone tell you all the flaws in your work than it is to just say, oh, that's good. Because if they point out all the flaws, then you can go back and fix something and make it better. But if they just say it's good, you're not going to go back and fix anything. You're just going to leave it. And then when you show it to the person who actually matters, well, they're going to be straight up and straightforward and say, no. This is all wrong. Eat my poo. And you're thinking, oh shit, well what's his problem? Everyone else liked it. Well, no, they didn't really. They were just being nice to you. And that's what you gotta watch for. So that's another reason why you shouldn't share ideas when you're not an established person. Because you start sharing your ideas to family and friends. Those are the first people you're going to share these ideas with. Now, if you understand that the feedback that they give you, if it's positive, if you understand that they're probably just lying and don't take it to heart or whatever, then it's okay to share. But if, uh, if you're sharing these ideas... What the hell was I going to say? Anyway, you just don't want to share ideas with family or friends. As much as they want to hear it, just give them... Give them nothing. Don't even bring it up. Don't even bring up the fact that you're writing or, or producing or whatever it is you're doing, making music. Don't even bring it up. Just do it on your own time and let it happen. Let it build itself. And then, well, yeah, let it build itself and then you get it out there and do what you gotta do and it needs to be done. And once it's out there, people will look at you and say, why well, I thought you, I just, did, I can't believe this is happening. You just it seemed like you were doing nothing. But you actually knew what you were doing. And they will have so much respect. Okay? You don't want... And you don't want to flaunt these ideas around... To the public. In case... The, like I said earlier. If those ideas don't... Become reality. Then you're going to feel like shit. It's going to make you feel shitty. If they do become a reality, then then, hell yeah, then that's even better. But if they don't, then it's garbage. And you'll be looked at negatively. So if you don't say anything, none of that can happen. So just don't say anything until it happens. That's all I wanted to say. I feel like I'm repeating myself. So let's have a bong hoot. And I'm not going to use the hemp wick because I don't feel like it. <laughs> Cheers. I was just looking uh, in the viewfinder. My fucking closet's open for one. That wall could use, could definitely use some art. And so could underneath the Simpsons display here put something there and I could even put a little strip underneath the mushrooms 
And like I said, I can't bring the mushrooms down and then move the camera down because that guy, the tree poster, he can't come down any farther. There's a ledge. I've already said this. I'm not repeating. Eat my dingus. I'm having a hoot. She already said cheers. And I get distracted. Because I think I have ADD. God damn it, this thing's clogged to hell. It's like sucking through hole the size of a pin, a pin, a pinhead. It's very hard to suck. <sighs> Phlegm in the trope. I gotta finish this bowl. Uh, can I put it in a different bong? Good and I, I can. Well, no, Cheech is retired, and the only one available is none of them, so. I pickle my dickle. <sighs> Ran out of breath. See how long that took to suck all that smoke up? It should just be real quick. It's the only thing about these titanium stems, boy. They get clogged. Right now. They get clogged. They get clogged. They get clogged, motherfucker. They get clogged. Where's my other, like, I feel like I had another bong besides the Cheech that I could use. I mean, I could use the little Chronic, but he... Yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. Oh. We'll finish off this bowl with the little Chronic because... Uh, Green Bastard doesn't want to cooperate. Oh, this is nice and cold. Keep it up there by the window and... Windows aren't sealed properly, and a little draft comes in and keeps this boy cold. It's beautiful. Once the summertime hits, though, boy, goddamn, these are gonna be hot bongs. <laughs> I have some hot bong hits. Ooh, I don't love. I don't want that. Cause it gets hot in Canada in the summertime for two months, but that's it. Pretty much the rest of it is either tolerable, you know, it's like hot really hot for two months like stupidly hot and then fall time comes around and it's like ooh. or the transition from summer to fall is like oh nice it's just the perfect weather and then falls a little chilly you gotta put a uh windbreaker on but it's still tolerable and then winter happens and it's like oh god damn it it's too cold it's too cold too cold too cold for the longest amount of time out of the year it's too cold and then as uh, transition into spring it's like fuck yeah springtime but the thing is about spring the beginning of spring it's super sloppy outside because all that snow is melted so it's just like slush and everything's wet and soggy like the grass you step in it's like <laughs> but then eventually that all dries up and the mud goes away and then it's summertime and everything is uh, you know the dirt is dusty everything's dusty cause it's hot real hot like wicked hot and then there's like in June or July and August the hottest months there'll be like two days of each month where it's just like oh my god I can't stand this it's just too hot and then the cycle starts over 
Why did I explain that? Because I'm baked. And I got nothing on my cards. Oh, remember what I said last time? Don't speak into the top, boy. Speak into the fucking side. You youngins will never learn. Not bad, little chronic. You're a good little boy. He's a good little boy. Let me tell you. You're a good friend to me. <laughs> I should pack you again. Now, if I actually had a legitimate audience, I just gotta write something down before it goes away. If I had a legitimate audience, y'all would be asking right now. I thought you were gonna do something with the Cannabis University Mong involving smoking marijuana and using various household products as the fluid in the bong. And I would say yes, I did say I was going to do that in season two. And we're well into season two. Why haven't I done it yet? Um... Well, I thought about it, and... <laughs> There are a lot of people already doing it. Also, I don't want this podcast to turn into uh, a place where people come to watch me just do crazy bong hits. I would like to have a conversation as well as have casual bong hits. You know, I'm not the crazy bong hit kind of person. So to, and to really enjoy this podcast, I don't know if I'd enjoy it so much, smoke, having a bong hit with like peanut butter as a substitute as water, or soy sauce or something. I know it'd be gross and it'd get views, but I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with it. I might, I might, do, I'll probably do it eventually, like I'll do a little special clips here and there. Where it's like, today I'm going to have a hit of uh, bleach. No, I wouldn't do bleach. I did it already. Ba 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 sore. I miss the 90s. Even though I never really, like, experienced the 90s because I was too young. But I remember getting a taste of it in the early 2000s. Like, we still had the same commercials, and... Like, a lot of the 90s commercials stuck around for a long time. Because they would always sell them the same toys forever. Before the internet really blew up. And before, uh... Before, what do you call it? Attention spans were minimal because I was watching this video today on Facebook of old 90s commercials and it, it brought me back because I remember watching the commercials and they have that 90s vibe where it's just like goofy and colorful and like that with that weird wacky voice voiceover guy <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really sound like that. <laughs> and, and like, the acting was always the same. Like, whoa! Hey, Mom! Can I go outside and play? Well, yes, Jimmy! Go for it! And, like, just super enthusiastic. 
I'm really baked right now. It was beautiful. And you know, I don't know. It just seemed like the 90s were just like the, a, a nice decade. If like, like there was nothing really going on. What happened in the 90s? Like nothing, did anything bad really? I'm sure there was bad things. There's bad things all the time that happens. But what stands out about the 90s? Well, to me, it's just like the goofy, the goofy colorfulness. And it was pre, it was like, it was in the, right before, it was the beginning stages of the internet. Like the internet was just spawning. It was just like a baby in the 90s. People had it at the, like, to the mid to the late 90s. But it wasn't like a thing that everyone had like now the 90s the dundies <laughs> peace bewilder pass it on pass it on pass it on long john silver pass it on I love macaroni salad. I do love macaroni salad, but not the stuff that comes from the grocery store. The compliments brand, I think. It tastes delicious, but let me tell you, every time I eat it, I get the worst stomach pains. It feels like someone's stabbing me for hours, and then the shit just fucking squirts out of me. I'm like, oh, that wasn't the macaroni salad. <laughs> and then I eat some more. <laughs> Happens again. And I, and I'm like, I still, I, well, I don't deny it anymore. But for the longest time, I denied it was the macaroni salad. And I would just keep eating that fucking macaroni salad. But I noticed a trend that every time I ate it, I would fucking die in the insides of my stomach and my anal cavity so I said fuck it I'm never eating that macaroni salad ever again don't care how good it is where is it oh you know what I got I forgot to show let's do a quick little zoom here I have a new addition to the I broke glass. Extravaganza. Because you know how much I love breaking my goddamn glass. It's wonderful. Just kidding. Here's the bottom of a banger. You know the banger. The one that is 14 mil and 18 mil for male. Fits both. Fits both male sizes. Clunk, clunk. Uh. But yeah, she's broken here. Her entire shaft is gone, just in a million pieces. And I still have the banger bowl part, but that's all I got left. Isn't that, isn't that wonderful? It came up and curled, and then this was like up here. Something like that. <laughs> but I'm just gonna fuse them back together like this. No. What I would like to do because I still have this banger. It's really small. Really small guy. This guy's pretty small too, but he's a little bigger. But I'd like to fuse him right there. So it's like a double bowl banger. Or maybe put it on the side or something. Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> I think that'd just be fucking dandy. Let's zoom out here. I'm using this guy out here because I got a big nugget that I'm smoking. And it's nice to drop a nugget in a quartz banger. And then plug it off with a good old bubble cap, carb cap. 
He calls him anyway. Bubble cap. Bubble 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 butt. Bubble butt. Bubble butt. Bubble 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 butt. Whoa, what are you doing? Balancing the fucking. so much heat that it, when you put the little nugget on the tool as soon as the tool gets close to the banger it melts to the tool so you gotta be quick you gotta drop it in and go or else it'll just stick to the tool and then you gotta scrape it on the walls and blah blah blue that's not what you want boy so here we go <sighs> cheers Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> See, what I did was, there's already goop on my tool, so I just stuck to the tool right away. And then once I got close, you guessed it, she ain't coming off now. <coughs> well, that was still tasty. Yeah, you can touch the bottom. He's not that hot. You see? Just don't touch the bang bang. <laughs> I could just get high forever. But I don't have enough. I run out, you know? A little chronic. Should this be the thumbnail? Yeah, let's let this be the thumbnail. Wait for the wait for it to change green. The light it's brown? Come on man, turn green. Is that green? There's green. There's the one. <laughs> yeah, I'll figure it out. I probably I'll probably forget about it. And won't even use that as the thumbnail. Whoops. Is the sun still shining? A little cloudy day. Oh no. That's just my light reflecting and bouncing and making a weird shadow it's kind of cool it's kind of cool it looks like there's sunlight coming through my curtains but it's fucking dark outside it's tripping me out boy making me think it's the daytime even though it's the night time oh my arm well i think the red mark went away it's not as pain running as in as much pain as it was. Don't spill hot boiling water on your arm, please. That's that's my message of the day. Don't spill boiling hot wagwa on your warm. Okay. Do I really want to do this? Yes, I do. Okay. No peer pressure, but you do it. You do it. You do that now. I don't know what to do, boy. Cheers. Oh, my God.
god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a... It's such a small... Bong. That's rogue. It's right to you. Right away. And then you're like, wow. I can't do this. And then you pull the ball. And it's like, oh shit, I really can't do this. And then you do it. And then you say, shit. Now I know what's coming. So let's do it again. <sighs> Cheers. Oh my. <coughs> I like this mouthpiece. You gotta like suck on it like it's a nipple. You feel like a little baby. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Cheers, Papa. <coughs> oh my! I can't! I can't! <coughs> Little chronic. <coughs> he does more damage than any of them. This guy's insane! <coughs> oh my god. Little chronic, what are you doing to me, boy? I thought we were pals. Well, that wasn't so bad. Let's dab some reclaim. I just feel like doing a lot today. I know I said I don't, and now I'm doing the exact opposite. That's, you want to know why? Because I'm a hippie crit. Everybody's a hypocrite. I just happen to be a big one. Or am I? No, I try not to be. <coughs> Today I feel like doing me more. You can't stop me. We're doing some reclaim. Would you like to take a look? Took a look? I'm baked. Here's the reclaim. Let's see how far we can get. Reclaim, reclaim. Oh, we're getting really fuzzy now. Look at that. Ooh, that doesn't even look good. Let's zoom out. Two little boobs of reclaim. A big boob and a small boob. You been with a girl who has two, two boobs? <laughs> One bigger than the other? I'm sure you've been with a girl with two boobs. <laughs> that looks like a face. Two eyes. And this is the mouth, kind of. You see? Ha! Bloop, bloop. God damn it, I wish this thing zoomed fast. Clunk. <laughs> I need to teach Olive to sit up on that ledge. <clears throat> and when I say zoom, he'll just... Push. Because when you do it from the camera, it's wicked fast. So if I could teach Olive to do that, that would be perfect. Right, Olive? Olive. Oliver. You see him? There he is. Olive. You want to be the cameraman? That means yes. If you're baked, raise your hand. If you're gonna get more baked, raise your hand higher. 
If you're going to get even more baked than that, raise your hand even higher. If you're a faggot, raise your hand. Just kidding. <laughs> <clears throat> that word is, uh... Although it's not allowed to be used anymore. <laughs> With the politically correct banana bowl below on you. Okay. You don't hear it as much. Unless. You're playing online gaming. Then you hear nothing but that word. Still. It's still like that. It's been like that. For as long as I can remember. But you know what? I used to use that word so much. And I had fun using it. I used it in a fun way. It wasn't like... It had nothing to do with... Homosexuals. <clears throat> I'm gonna get myself in trouble. Zaga, 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 zag, zag. Let's just talk about something else. <laughs> There's a hair. Oh, gross. It's like stuck in the mic. Get out of there. God, that's disgusting. Who the fuck was rubbing my. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Some chick had a hairy. Beaver use this microphone as a dildo. That's the only way. Oh, there's another one. Yep. Fuck me. There's no way hairs would get stuck in the mic like that. Like they're jammed in there. Women are using my mic as dildo. Wow. I gotta put an end to that. Sebastian, can't even see my face. Sebastian is a slug. No, he's a lobster. No, he's a lobster. No, he's a slug. No, he's a lobster. No, he's a lobster. Where's he a crab? I don't know, I don't know. I don't speak your language. I don't run with the channel. I don't run with the pan. One of these days I'm going to bring myself on this. It's bound to happen. I break stuff more often than not. And I'm very clumsy. Cheers. <clears throat> Reclaim. Not bad. Not bad. I thought it would taste worse than that, but it's not bad. <sighs> Next time you do a hit, if you have a mouse piece that's small ish, if you got a mouse piece that your lips have to go in, in, and they. You know, like this size. I'm not talking like nipple, like chronic, or big one, like fucking Chewbacca, green bastard over here. I'm talking this style, okay? If you have one this style, put your lips like this. And try it. <laughs> it's weird, but it feels it feels like you're opening something up properly and it goes through smoothly. <laughs> if you cough a lot. <laughs> oh, one of these days. 
All this weird shit that I do is going to get compiled into one stupid video by someone. And I'm going to hate it because it's... <laughs> because it's, it's going to be so weird. Because I do weird shit all the time. And sometimes it's embarrassing. I don't do it in public. I don't, <laughs> I'm not that. I'm not that autistic. I might be autistic. <laughs> but it's not it's not like that. I don't I can, I like I'm normal in public. Or am I? Oh, I just touched my friggin' arm to the to the to the, to the, to the bong. And it didn't feel good. It hurt. For those who didn't watch the beginning of the video, my arm got burnt. So fuck you. I am hurt. I am injured. You need to do respect. If I was a true millennial, uh, and if someone were to make fun of my arm being burned, I would take major offense and start protesting. But I'm not. Whoopsie daisies. See? Told you I'm clumsy. Just broke everything. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I didn't break anything. <laughs> but I'm at the point now when... <laughs> when I break a piece of glass, I don't get mad. I don't even get... I don't get sad. I'm just like, oh, shit. Like, it's like... <laughs> I've done it so much now. I'm just... It's just like, oh, shit. I gotta get a new piece now. We're back in the day. Like, when I... The very first time I broke a piece of glass was with the green bastard. I back when I had when I was just using glass stems for him. I broke the glass stem cleaning it, and I was so disappointed. I was like, no, like, it was like fucking heartbreaking. I was like, shit, I can't fucking smoke now because it was. It was like 9 o'clock at night, so everything was closed. So I'm like, God damn, I gotta wait till tomorrow. <laughs> it was a super heartbreaking. Not like heartbreak, but it was. It sucked. Like I was like super disappointed. But that's only because that was like the only thing I had. Well, I had a pipe as well. So I was like, shit, now I gotta smoke out the pipe. But then, uh... But now it's just like, fuck it. Like, I really don't give a damn. Um, well, I shouldn't say that. Because I haven't really broken anything that nice that badly. Like, if I really fucked this up to the point where I couldn't use it anymore, then I'd be disappointed. But usually when something breaks, you can fix it. So... That's another reason I don't get that disappointed. <laughs> oh no. I just pooped my pants. See? More weird stuff. Just comes out. When there's an awkward silence, I say, what should I fill it with? How about some weird stuff? And that's what happens. Baking soda. I got baking soda. Okay. What are we... Oh, we mobily. We're at 54 minutes. Almost an hour long. Jeez, this went way longer than I thought. Most of my podcasts average between 20 and 45 minutes. 
This one's going on for fucking an hour. But that's okay. You can chill the fuck out, alright? Because it don't matter. Podcasts are meant to be long. <coughs> but I'm going to end it. Peace to the wilderness. And don't forget to chop every tree you see. the trees. Yeah, why are we chopping trees still? Let's use hemp, please. You can use hemp for paper. Did you know that? You can use hemp for rope. Did you know that? Well, you knew that. <laughs> you can use hemp for a lot of things. Use hemp for uh ba 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 instead of plastic. Why don't we do that? Huh? I don't know. Ask Mr. Rogers, he knows all about that shit. <laughs>